out guys, very good GY Fitness. Okay, this is the seated chest press. It's a really good machine if you want to work your, your uh, chest muscles. The first thing you want to do whenever you get into a machine is you always want to make adjustments to make sure that you're in the correct position when you're doing the actual workout. So we have Aaron here, he's going to demonstrate how to do this. Aaron, you want to adjust the seat, make sure that you're at the right height and position. And the seat adjustment is really easy. Just pull on the lever and you can go up and down. What you also want to do with this machine, and it, uh, not all you know, seated chest press machines have this, but you can also adjust your range of motion by pulling in this little handle. For those of you guys who have shoulder issues, you know, this is going to help save your shoulders when you got to you know, rotate back and push forward. So Aaron, I don't know where you usually start off at, but you want to make sure that you have good range of motion. Then you want to adjust the weight, okay? All right, you want to make sure that you put enough weight on there. All right, Aaron, you want to get into position. Now, what I tell my clients uh, to do in order for them to get a good chest pump is you always want to make sure that your back is up against the pad and you always want to make sure that you pop your chest up, okay? You always want to make sure, the reason why you want to make sure you pop your chest up is because you don't want to use this machine to work your shoulders, all right? You want to isolate your chest. So go ahead and get on the, get your grips on and go ahead and do a couple of, uh, a couple of reps. All right, you see how Aaron's pushing? You can see his chest pumping. Yeah, just two more times. <clears throat> All right, good job, Aaron. And you also can see that throughout the entire workout, he was controlling his rhythm, controlling his pace. He wasn't jerking. He wasn't snapping the movement. And he was using a weight that he could actually control and get a good pump and good contraction. All right, another thing that Aaron can do, um, you know, if Aaron wants to work his inner chest, he's gonna grab closer on the grips, all right? And when you push up Aaron, you're gonna really focus on the inner chest. And then if Aaron wants to focus on his outer chest, he's gonna grab the grips a little bit wider, all right? Okay, go ahead and do a press, okay? Now you wanna be careful whenever you go wide because you don't wanna tear anything. You definitely wanna use a weight that you can manage and a weight that you can use uh, to control your rhythm and control your pace. The one thing that I, I wanted to demonstrate though, is we can bring the camera in here, is that this pin right here, okay guys, it's magnetic. So for those of you who don't want to, you know, use any actual, um, you know, weight, uh, I see guys wrapping this around the, the you know, the, the bar. I see guys trying to stick this pin into this little hole. That's not what it's made for. This pin should just rest right there. It's magnetic, it's not gonna fall. All right, so if you guys are gonna, you know, not use any weight, just go ahead and, and place the pin right on top.